Welcome back, Blake Cousins here at Third Phase of Moon, going over some video that just came in last night to me. We're going to try and get it out as we make our way to Los Angeles here. But in the meanwhile, we're going to be looking at Heather O'Frill's video while we have her online, going over her account of what it was like while she witnessed this unusual event. Heather, welcome to Third Phase Moon. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Hey, Heather. Uh, tell me exactly when, where, and what got you uh, starting to film this unusual thing? I see you're traveling down a dark road. Where was this? Well, I was driving home on Route 15 in Vermont, and I live down there, so I drive down there a lot. And uh, I was getting out of Essex, and I saw this huge, like, glowing dark orange lights. So I pulled out the camera, and I just kept following it, and it was just getting bigger and bigger. And finally, I pulled over on the side of the road, and they were just like these huge fireball-looking things, but they were staying in one area and then just like lighting up and not lighting up. It was it's, it's really cool, Heather, because when I'm watching the video, when I saw it for the first time, I thought it was really brave of you to... It seems like you're by yourself in the car. I don't hear anybody else. And then to actually pull over on the side of the road at night and film this, did, did you have any uh, kind of feeling about, wow, this is something extraterrestrial? Um, I got a little creeped out, so I like locked the doors, and then um, two more cars pulled in the back of me, and then I got a little more creeped out, so I ended up leaving. And then I went down a side road, I was gonna see if I can see it anymore, and then it like disappeared, so. Well, Heather, so you're saying other people in the area witnessed the same thing and were actually pulling over to uh, view this? Yeah, there was two cars that pulled over in back of me, but I haven't heard anybody report anything. Were the people on the ground, did you hear them saying anything? Nope, nobody got out of their cars. You know, I've showed your video to uh, ex-military that's been in uh, Vietnam and Iraq, and they say if it, these are military flares, you would usually see some kind of smoke. Uh, you know, okay, I didn't see any kind of lights or you know smoke trails or anything. Is this close to any kind of military base in the area? Um, somewhere around Underhill, I think there's a military like base, but I'm not sure. Well, Heather, uh, you, yeah, like my source says, there was no trace evidence of any kind of smoke trail. It seems like these luminescent orbs, these orange lights are uh, self-illuminated by what? We, we're not exactly sure, but it's an incredible catch. Heather, hey, thanks for joining us right here at Third Phase Moon and submitting your footage. How did you, how did you uh, find out about Third Phase? Uh, my friend Joe, he's in the aliens and stuff, and I showed him my video, and he said that I should submit it to you guys. Well, Heather, uh, appreciate that. Tell Joe, thank you very much. You, you know, you're sharing your video to the world, so we're happy to uh, get your experience out. Heather, again, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, thank you. All right, Heather, keep your eyes on the skies. Everybody, that's uh, Heather from Jericho, Vermont, capturing something quite unusual in the night skies over there. If anybody in the area witnessed this a couple nights ago, contact Third Phase of Moon via Skype, Facebook. We're standing by Blake Cousins. We'll see you again next time, and here is the original cut video for you right now. I have no idea what these things are in the air right in front of me. Oh my god, there's a fourth one. The fuck are those? Pulling over. Oh my god.
that's really scary because they're in the air. I'm gonna come up by the old maple tree. I'm gonna pull over. I've never seen anything like this, well, except for once, but not like this. I got a card in back of me now. <laughs> Cars park in the back of me now. That's creepy, and I'm gonna go investigate. I have no idea what these things are in the air, right in front of me. Oh my god, there's a fourth one. The fuck are those? Pulling over. Oh my god. It's really scary because they're in the air. I come up by the old maple tree. I'm gonna pull over.